What's good on CR Nation? Today, I never went camping, but Papa Swag has a story about camping. That's right, I had a story from my college days about camping. Stay tuned to hear about it next on... Serial United, pour yourself a bowl. Hello, Serial Nation. I'm Papa Swag. And I'm Ben. And together we are... Serial United. And on this channel... We talk about cereal and anything related to cereal. If that sounds interesting to you, then hit that red subscribe button. Hello, Serial Nation. I'm really excited about today's episode. Ben, we are going camping today. I'm going to have a camping story. And we're going to be eating two uh, cereal and a cereal related brand, Golden Graham. You know, it's funny you said we're going camping. You want to know why? I don't know. Because I'm pretty sure growing up, I don't think we went camping ever. Well, when I tell you this story, you're going to understand why we never went camping, ever. Alright, well, I can't wait, because last time I checked, one side of the family liked to go camping a lot, and it wasn't yours. Nope, not mine. And I've had very poor camping experiences. It sucks to be you, then. Yes. You better just man up next time and just go. Yep, well, let me get the story started. I've had several experiences eating s'mores. I love eating s'mores. And so this is these cereals really get you thinking about the chocolate, the marshmallow, and the graham cracker. Um, that's a delicious combination. However, this camping story that I'm going to tell you today has nothing to do with graham crackers, marshmallow, or sugar. But we can talk about it while we're eating the cereal in the cereal bar. Let's do that. All right. So let me just say, this is back in college. I went to a Christian college. Back to the 80s we go. Back to the 80s we go. It was the mid-80s. And at the school we went to, Every spring, they had a what's called a Christian music festival called Ichthus. Can you say that one more time for me? Ichthus. You saying that right? I am. Nice. It's a it's a fish. A lot of people have them on their cars, representing Jesus and the Christian faith. And so I was part of a discipleship group, and to protect the innocent and the guilty, I'm going to name the the culprit Bob. <laughs> All right, Bob. And my uh, partner that experienced the same thing I did, Bill. I was thinking Bill in my head. Yep. So Bob and Bill are not the real names, just to protect their c covers. All right. So I don't know if they want to share publicly who they are. That's all right. Bob and Bill it is. So I said Bob was the culprit and Bill was the one that was camping with me, correct? That's what you said. All right. I got to keep this straight. Well, Bill, Bill was your partner is what you said. Yep. Bill was my partner. So in college, I was part of a discipleship group where we would study the Bible together. Okay. We went through a book together. And so this was a bonding uh, group. We had about five of us in the group. And so Bob, the leader of the group, wanted us to all camp out at Ichthus. Because Ichthus was a Christian music festival. Right. Youth groups throughout the, the country would go there. They would camp on the grounds. And Bob thought it would be a good idea for Bill and I the camp on the ground. Okay. So being the enthusiastic college age kids that we were, we decided to listen to him. All right. And I thought Bob was going to be with us, but he was, but he didn't show up. And I'll tell you why in a moment. But let's open up the cereal. All right. And open up the and the bars. We'll eat the cereal first. Boy, I'm terrible at opening things. I'm not that great either. I'm about to get a little bit on. on I guess these are like little graham crackers. Little grams. I haven't had golden grams in a long time, so I don't know how good it is, but it sounds like graham crackers and milk would be really delicious together. Jeez. I'm gonna get you a bar out. Give me a bar. I wanna start a cereal bar someday. That's the dream. Look, I just destroyed that box. Yep. I think you have cereal. Oh, bowl. it smells good. It smells pretty good. It smells like a graham cracker. And I like the smell of graham crackers. All right, let me show you the cereal. And then I'm going to pour some milk into it. No honey on this one. Let's go ahead and eat, and I'll get back to my story here in just a moment while I take a few bites. I'm gonna love your reaction. I'm gonna know if you're gonna like this one. If 
That's got a little bit of a, a bitterness to it. Do you taste that bitterness? No. Yeah, Ben, are you enjoying it? Uh-huh. You really like it? That's, that's amazing. Maybe it's just my taste buds. Maybe it's my aging. So, do you like graham crackers? I do like graham crackers. It tastes just like graham crackers. I'm confused. I, I, I think it's a little, it's not as sweet as a graham cracker, but maybe, maybe oh. it is. I just, I just taste a little bit of bitterness in it. It's not terrible, but it's not something that I'm really enjoying. Well, you want to finish your story while I finish my, my, my bowl? Yes, I will. I may start eating the bar in the middle of it. So, in this particular, so the Christian Music Festival took place in April. Okay. And so we had been, I think... Did I, it rain? It always rained at Dick Coos. But this did, it did not rain. However, so Bill and I went to the campgrounds and we got our sleeping bags and we slept overnight at the campground. However, it had to be in the 30 degree temperature. It was freezing. And so... That's cold. But Bob, who was supposed to show up and sleep with us, Bob never showed up. Bob said, no, I'm not gonna sleep out in that cold. He was a, he was a Boy Scout, not only a Boy Scout, he, he was an Eagle Scout, my friend uh, Bob. That ain't, that ain't a real Eagle Scout, let me tell you. No, he was a That's smart. A win. No, he was smart. He decided not to. That's a wimp, not no, not being smart. Okay. Well, I don't know what it was, but Bob did not show up, and Bill and I were a little upset the next morning because we slept in the cold all night long. And got uh, your lesson, I bet. Oh yeah, it was not a great experience. Uh, I believe it warmed up the next day, and the and the music was very enjoyable. So it made the. Um, we got over it pretty quickly because we were college kids, and college kids are crazy. So, so that was that's pretty much. And I have other camping stories that are terrible. So that's your story. That's my story. You got tricked into sleeping outside. Yep, and we slept on the ground. We slept on a hard ground on a sleeping bag. We didn't have. We didn't have any. Uh, hold on, just pausing, taking a drink. In between, and we didn't have any like air bed, air mattresses or anything to cushion it so we slept on the hard ground and it may have rained it may have rained a couple of days before so i can't recall that a long time ago ben but i do i'll never forget as long as i live sleeping that night with bill in the tent in the cold and waking up freezing freezing and we ran we got back to our dorms and got a nice hot shower i just saw <laughs> i remember so that's my story about camping one of the reasons i had other terrible Stories about camping, putting up a tent, a big struggle. I've had that bad experience as well. Mmm. Mmm. Delicious. So, camping isn't for you, Papa Swag? Camping is not for me. There's chocolate on one side, marshmallows on the other side. See, this I might not like. This is delicious. Ooh. It is hard to chew. So while we're eating our cereal bars, you, the viewer, we'd like to hear, do you have any good camping stories you'd like to share with us in the comments? We'd like to hear about, hear about them. If you feel free sharing them. Or please comment on what your experience has been with Golden Grams. And have you tried these new Golden Graham cereal bars? Let us know what your thoughts are if you've tried them. So Bob, Bob in the story. I'm going back to the story because I'm intrigued in this story. <laughs> Bob was in charge of you guys? Bob was the leader of our discipleship group, our Bible study group. And he told you guys to sleep outside? Yes, he did. It was a bonding, male bonding just, activity. Just you two, though. N me, Bill, Bob. There was two other guys. One guy didn't do a lot with us. So it was just you two that ended up doing it? Yeah. Now, why on earth did you guys stay outside? It was just you two. Go back into wherever you guys were supposed to go and sleep. In our dormitory? Yeah. Look, Ben. Papa Swag was not didn't have the swag that he has now. Man, I'm sorry. This is us two. I'm going right back inside. I'm ordering me a pizza. We're having a good night. It was also a two or three mile walk from our dorms to the campground. Well, I don't know about you then, but I do know now. You would have just ran and been just fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a possibility. <laughs> That's a lot faster than. I bet you were. I've seen some pictures. 
<laughs> True. But that that's all I have on that story. I don't want to talk about it anymore. <laughs> it's like Forrest Gump. That's all I got that's all I got to say about that. Right on. This bar, I'm not as big a fan of the bar as I am the cereal. And I think it's opposite for you. Time out? You agree? He agrees. He agrees. He likes the bar better. Maybe it's because of the chocolate. I'm not big on chocolate, so. And he likes chocolate, I believe. But he doesn't like chocolate and peanut butter together, but he likes chocolate. Yeah, so I like the bar better than the cereal. I think the cereal has a little bit of a bitter flavor to it myself. But I know a lot of people have, have that. So... The bar's still good, don't get me wrong. I just think I like the cereal a little bit better. Yep, I I can see that. I can see people being fans of the cereal, cereal instead of the bar. I like the bar better myself. So, I don't have anything else to say about the story. I'm camping. You got anything else to say, Ben? I, I don't have no stories growing up camping. I think because of that story, I don't think we ever went camping. True, and Mom... Grew up camping, and I don't think she wanted to do the work that would go along with camping either. Yeah, and I'm sure us us boys weren't going to do it either. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> well, if you enjoyed today's video, please consider subscribing to the channel. We're going to have more videos like this coming up, and uh, we have some other videos you may want to check out as well. Uh, if you have, if you're new to the channel, so could, please consider subscribing. And what else would you like to say, Ben? Uh, you know, hit the bell next to it, too, so you're notified when we post new videos. This is a great story I learned about Papa Swag today. I haven't heard of this story, so it was a nice little treat for me. Oh, I got tons of stories, Ben. So do I, but <laughs> I'll have to wait for those. Yes, they will. And also, if you enjoyed the video, hit that, give us a thumbs up and hit that like button. And then comment down below. So, uh, let our, yeah, comment down below. Let us know if you guys have any camping stories. We'd love to hear from you guys about your camping stories. I'm always intrigued on camping stories because I never got to do it. Well, if you're old enough now, you can do it yourself. Yeah, but I can't do it right now. we got a little pandemic going on. Yep, true, true that. All right. Well, just remember, grab yourself a bowl. Sorry, I'm taking a drink of water. But also, grab a spoon. Grab your favorite box of cereal. Pour the milk. And enjoy. Till the next video, I'm Papa Swag. I'm Ben. Have a great day.